Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> what a what a huge guest this is today. What a what a true honor to have Mr. Amir Nets here today. Thank you very much for agreeing to this interview. Hello, Bear. I'm happy to be here. Uh, you can call me Paginated. Paginated. Okay, that's <laughs> you're going informal. <laughs> okay. So uh, I have a few questions that my uh, that I'd like to hear your answers to, and my viewers would. Uh, I have, I, I, you know, my viewership has skyrocketed since my interviews with Amanda and Will and others. So, so this should only help draw interest to Paginated Report Bear and Paginated Reports. I'm really, really happy to help you, Paggy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, so uh, I, I'm okay. Are you okay with calling you Paggy, right? Uh, you can call me whatever you'd like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, when did you first realize your future was in the business intelligence space? Wow, it was effectively 25 years ago, almost to the date. Wow. Yes, it's. Uh, I, I was actually an uh, industrial engineer by education, although I programmed since I was uh, 13 years old, and I was hired to do uh, to build ERP software. And then I, mm -hmm. while my boss was away for a couple of weeks, uh, I just took the initiative and built an, what was called an executive information system at the Ooh. early 90s. And that's what, when, and it was actually pretty cool and people loved it. And uh, my boss at the, the startup uh, said, hey, actually it's kind of cooler than ERP. Let's make a business out of it. And that's how I got myself into the business intelligence space. Wow. That's really interesting. That's, so you were a shadow IT? I, oh, well, I, maybe a shadow, I'm not sure about <laughs> IT. But uh, I, my, I was actually working in a startup, so I wasn't really working against IT. The, the startup was supposed to build an ERP oh. software, but based on that kind of uh, weekend and uh, nights project, decided to change direction and go into the BI business. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, so uh, uh, you just shipped. Uh, the team just shipped the, the latest desktop release, which I know you love these desktop releases. Is there a particular feature that you especially liked in this latest release? I love the uh, performance analyzer that we have right now in the desktop. It, it's awesome. And uh, it's hard to underestimate and, and uh, overstate the importance of performance to the success of any BI project. If there's one thing that is going to fail the project, it's a slow experience for the users. So having that tool that allows the authors to go and uh, make sure that what they're building is going to be performance and uh, interactive uh, is going to be uh, a lifesaver for, for many of those uh, builders, authors, creators that we have working on desktop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I like the performance analyzer because it shows you the DAX query, and then you can paste that in the Power BI report builder and create a paginated report against the model. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure that's what everybody is going to do. I was going to say the performance problem could just be AS, but I wanted to keep this as a friendly interview. But if that's you the direction should, we're going to go, you should continue to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hey, so a lot of people have asked, what do you think about actually building paginated reports in Power BI Desktop? Is that something that you think we'll be able to do at some point? That's something that is is, is a long lasting dream of mine. Uh, I know we have a lot of fans of the of the of the Power BI report builder that is used to really? be for. Really? I mean, yes, we do. Yeah, <laughs> I know we have them. I know we have them. Uh, but I, I think I, I really truly think that today, you know, the Pagina report builder was built for an audience that is more professional and more capable. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a typical audience of uh, SQL Server reporting services. Mm -hmm. And if we want to expand the audience, so the people can build Pagina reports, which is just love. You know, they're just beautiful. Uh, they they are so you know perfectly formatted and can span multiple pages. And they have this special role in 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 Power BI. But if we can expand the audience that can build the uh, the set of reports or paginated reports uh, to basically all the desktop users, uh, that would be a huge win for all of the community. So our goal is to make it super, super easy to build those paginated reports. And I think that if we can just have an experience that is built upon the uh, set of uh, knowledge that those users accumulated when they build Power BI reports and now say, hey, you can use the same kind of experiences, the same kind of uh, knowledge, the same kind of principles to build paginated reports, we're going to have overnight millions of new authors to create paginated reports. And that would make you so happy, wouldn't it? it I love this vision. This is fantastic. It really sounds exciting. Just when is it coming? Well, uh, you know, <laughs> that's a really, really good question. And um, I, th I think people don't realize that uh, 
how small the Power BI team in reality is. <laughs> you know, we release every week the desk service and every month on the desktop and the features keep coming on, but it's really heroic work of the team members that is making it happen because the team is actually fairly small. Mm -hmm. So we always have to kind of prioritize and pick and choose and pick the low hanging fruits and, and work through the list of uh, user requests on, on, on ideas.powerbi.com. So it's always a constant evaluation prioritization battle, but I think that the potential here is so big, so I'm optimistic that it will happen somewhere in the next 12 months. Maybe you could pull some strings. I think you'll just fall apart if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Okay, so uh, so speaking of uh, my favorite tool, Power BI Report Builder, what do you think about shipping an authoring bundle each month of Report Builder and desktop so authors have a single bundle that they install and get all the tools, like Office? I think that this is an idea that has a merit. I, I haven't really thought through enough onto, you know, what could be the n uh, negative sides here. Uh, but overall, I think that we should really simplify the uh, installation uh, and management of the of the authoring experiences. And it's certainly the same. Our goal is that the same person who uses the Power BI desktop will also be creating paginated reports and uh, putting those two things together kind of makes sense. Um, it, I think you just have to work through the, the details to make sure that it happens. I love this new Amir who's so agreeable with my ideas. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, as the as the uh, founder or the uh, power pivot is kind of your your idea and invention in the past, correct? Uh, I was certainly one of the one of the one of the architects. Uh, yeah. of that. So, what role do you see Power Pivot and Excel playing in the Power BI ecosystem in the future? So I think that the Excel is, 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 is an irreplaceable tool. Its role in, in, in the lives of, of our users and society, frankly, is, is something that is hard to, uh, to overstate. And it is the premier tool for freestyle exploration, freestyle analysis, uh, really modeling, business logic. It's just, it's just amazing. And just, I just as a user of Excel myself, I just love every moment I'm using it. Now, those users of Excel that lo love to work in Excel, giving them uh, these kind of capabilities that we provide with Power Pivot, uh, ability to large work with very large mo data models, ability to structure data, a much more modern way to do V lookups. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something I think that they love. We have millions upon millions of users in Power Pivot, and I think that's going to continue. And the fact that the foundation of Power Pivot is really the foundation of Power BI, we share the exact same code base underneath, mm -hmm. means that if you're a user of Excel and you use Power Pivot, and then you want to work with Power BI, you just feel so much more comfortable with the transition. Uh, all your knowledge that you accumulated from Excel just get uh, to be used in Power BI, and you're you know immediately fish in water when you open the desktop. You still have to use DAX though, right? I love DAX. That's one of us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, that didn't go well. All right, so, um, so what feature are you most proud of shipping during your time at Microsoft? Wow, um, I worked with some amazing, amazing teams and worked some, on some, some uh, uh, fantastic technologies. And, and, uh, I, and it's been over 20 years, so, you know, shipping all up services 20 years ago uh, really, I think, changed the whole industry. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking at a, a technology, a specific technology, I think that really is you know, still my, uh, still proud to this day, is the Vertipak engine that powers Power BI. That stuff is pure magic. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when we, we, we built it, it was a small team, and we built it about, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and when we finished building it, it was the first time in my life that I looked at a piece of code and a technology and I said, it's perfect. There's just nothing that you can make it any better. And it is so much faster than anything else out there. It was like a hundred times faster than the closest competitor. Um, and, and we sealed it up and we sealed it up for years. Of course we were wrong, we can make it better, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we felt like it was perfect. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm sure. You know, uh, clearly you'd never looked under the covers of SSRS because that obviously is the perfect software. 
<laughs> oh <laughs> no, I have not. I have not, <laughs> and 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 I know that you know it, it's actually it's amazing this this uh, workhorse that we call SSRS how it truly powers so many applications mm -hmm. and so many IT workloads around the world and bringing that same power uh, in in this very mature technology into Power BI is really positioning Power BI way more than just a standard cell service BI tool but it's really augmented and completed to be a complete enterprise BI suite that is in my opinion the, the best uh, most holistic in the enterprise. Well, I hope that's your opinion. If you, if you came on here and said Tableau, we'd have a problem, I think, in terms of I <laughs> will never say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, so what feature decision do you most regret and which, what would you do differently? Uh, wow, what would I do differently? I think, okay, so I'll tell you, uh, my pro probably the toughest moment in, in my career at Microsoft was working on uh, a project that we used to call Yukon, which turned into SQL Server 2005. Mm -hmm. And that was a five years journey uh, to finish one release. Mm -hmm. And I think today it's inconceivable when we release every week mm -hmm. to imagine that not releasing for a whole five years. But this was, these were tough five years, not just for me, but for the whole SQL Server family. The whole of Microsoft was actually um, running through a very, very tough period. Uh, but we made our own share of mistakes, including uh, deciding that we can just rewrite the whole AS product in one release. And that was way too big of, uh, of an ambitious project. And uh, we, we struggled with it to both ship it and ship it in quality. I think what we learned lots and lots of valuable lessons and a lot of what I learned we implement uh, today in Power BI and the, and, and the idea that instead of just shipping infrequently very, very large mm -hmm. releases, you just ship constantly. Yep. More and more and more capabilities, learning from what you've done, improving and making it better and better. And when you do that, you have this amazing connection with the community because they have, they know that the feedback that they give us, we have, we can react to it in real time. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, uh, implement their ideas, we can change the design, uh, and we get this in incredibly tight feedback loop with, with this amazing uh, set of uh, users and authors uh, that makes up the community that changes the whole game completely. It cool. energizes the customers, it energizes the team, it mm -hmm. makes the whole team timeline better. Agreed. No? Okay, good. That was a great answer. Thank you for that. Okay, so I promised some hard hitting questions. Uh, what feature do you think is more important to the long term success of Power BI? Paginated reports or support for multi dimensional? Wow, that's a really good question. Um, to be very honest, I think that the uh, both of them are very, very important, and we have a very large base of multidimensional uh, model users that just, you know, just urging us to help them move to the cloud and uh, modernize and consolidate into Power BI. Yep. But but the reality is that almost all of the new development of uh, modeling in, in Power BI is done on the tabula tabular uh, models. So support for multidimensional is really helping bring the past to the present, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how much of it is going to be about uh, moving forward. If you think about future looking, uh, then I think that paginated report as, as a, a core workload of enterprise BI is going to be there forever. And adding it to Power BI and, and rounding up the offering and bringing it to the same maturity level that we enjoy with uh, SSRS uh, is going to be key to the, to the future of Power BI. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so I, w I was hoping you'd say that, but I I'm pleasantly surprised. All right, so this question came in from Twitter, and you knew it was coming. When is Paginated Reports coming to Power BI Pro? When is Paginated Report coming to Power BI Pro? I, I think that's a it's a it's a really good question, and um, we are we know that we need to figure out a way to expand the. Uh, availability of paginated reports and other premium features uh, like uh, AI and, mm -hmm. and data flows uh, and maybe future additional features, uh, make them more available to the uh, smaller work groups that are uh, not ready yet to buy the big premium 
uh, know that it's kind of a, a quite significant commitment. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So we're looking for ways to kind of lower the entry bar. I'm not sure we can say that we, we are going to be just available for every poor user, but lowering the entry bar is something that we're absolutely looking at. And uh, we have a lot of uh, thoughts and, and, and mm -hmm. work stream in progress trying to figure out how to do that. Okay. That is a diplomatic answer. That's a good one. Okay. It's an accurate answer. <laughs> that is an accurate answer. Thank you. Okay. So last question, and this has been great. Uh, who would you like to see Paginate Report Bear interview next? I would love to see Paginate Report Bear, uh, Bear uh, interviewing Arun Ulag, who is running the engineering team here. Um, and responsible for making sure that we deliver that amazing product every week and every month. I am curious to see if Arun will agree to an interview with Paginated Report Bear myself. Uh, There's an outstanding invitation, so <laughs> we will see. Okay, very good. We will see. Well, thank you very much, Amir. This was very informative and a lot of fun. I appreciate you coming on. And uh, uh, again, anytime you'd like to talk with Paginated Report Bear, he'd be more than happy to have you on again. It was really fun having uh, me here, Padgy. Uh, <laughs> I, I recommend doing it in the future as well. I'm not sure I'm a fan of Padgy or not, but I'll <laughs> let it go for now. All right, so everybody, I have uh, Josh Kaplan and Kim Manis coming up later this week. So thanks very much and enjoy. Thank you, guys.